Okay, fantastic. All right, uh, so just to introduce myself, my name's Tess Sadler and I'm the Head of International Student Recruitment at the University of Highlands and Islands in Scotland. So I know that there's um, universities here from all over the world, so I'm just going to start with a little bit about Scotland itself. Um, so why would you like to come and study in the UK and why specifically in Scotland? Um, I'm going to start with the fact that it's beautiful. Um, so we have mountains, castles, um, Loch Ness, <laughs> we have stunning um, landscapes and it's a beautiful rural place. Um, so for anybody who's interested in exploring the outdoors, um, snow-capped peaks and, and mountain walks, then it's absolutely a, a wonderful place for you. It also has a long and intriguing history. Um, and some incredible cities. There's um, a really interesting culture um, and we have our own Gaelic language, um, which don't worry, you don't need to speak. Your classes will all be in English and I don't speak Gaelic myself, um, but it's a really interesting um, part of um, the Scottish culture. It's a very safe and um, welcoming place and I'm not from um, Scotland myself and I have been welcomed with open arms and it would be the same with any international students who come to study with us. So you might know that Scotland is renowned for having a lot of international students um, and some really world-class universities and research so it's a great place to come and study. Okay, so um, who are UHI? If you haven't heard of us before, we're the University of the Highlands and Islands. So we're a multi-campus university um, in the Highlands and Islands of Scotland um, in a place of outstanding natural beauty. We have the largest student population in Scotland and a huge range of courses, really diverse flexible entry requirements and lots of different progression routes. And we welcome international students from over 51 countries. Okay, so that was just a short video, which hopefully um, just gives you a quick glimpse of our campuses, of our student life, um, and as of some of our facilities and the amazing things that we have on our doorstep um, in the Highlands and Islands of Scotland. So moving on. Oh, no, go away. <laughs> OK, so um, why choose UHI um, to come and study your undergraduate or postgraduate degree? So we have academic excellence, which is linked specifically to job ready skills, excellent teaching facilities, some of which you saw in the video there, and really, really strong industry links. So we have internationally excellent and world leading research. Um, and on top of all of that, um, we're actually one of the most affordable um, UK universities, so in the top 10 most affordables. And then I'm also going to talk quickly about our student satisfaction levels, because we have the fourth highest student satisfaction in the UK, which we're really proud of. Our students absolutely love um, studying with us. So fourth in the UK. Um, and first in Scotland for student satisfaction and our average student satisfaction rate across the university is 95% um, and on some courses all of the feedback we get is 100% um, student satisfaction in some courses and that includes business and marine science so we're very happy that our students are so happy studying with us. So how will you study? Um, this is where UHI um, is a bit different um, to some of the other universities. So we have over 100 programmes, but we offer both fully online options and um, in-person study. So if you chose to study online, our, course, our postgraduate courses are validated for you to study from your home country, or you could come to one of our lovely campuses and we'll support you with your student route visa or other visa, um, depending on your circumstances to come and study in Scotland. It would be the same process as for other UK universities. So a lot of flexibility there between online and on campus. So you can choose the study mode that fits best into your own life. In terms of what you could study, I'm not going to talk you through all of the courses that we offer at UHI because, like I mentioned, we have over 100 different subject areas and 
we'd be here all day. I know that it's quite late for a lot of people joining this call. So I'm just going to talk to you about our most popular courses with international students. So our most popular undergraduate courses with um, students coming to study on our beautiful campuses are archaeology and history, adventure and tourism, marine and biosciences, environmental science, forestry, engineering and built environment, aircraft engineering um, and management and our professional golf related courses and golf management. So they're just our most, our most popular undergraduate courses. In terms of popular postgraduate courses, um, these are the top ones that a lot of students choose to study online from their own country. So sustainable development, the MSc, and that is really, in, um, really popular, um, as is our computer science and data analytics, um, history and the islands, so very specific to Scottish um, island history, which is fascinating, uh, tourism and outdoors, and then uh, really bespoke management um, MSCs, depending on which area of management you want to go into and the MBA portfolio as well. So a little bit about what it's like to be um, an international student at UHI and the support that you'll get. So we're um, a smaller university than, than some of the others. So we're really committed to your student experience and making sure you can reach your potential. So you will get um, a higher level of support than you might do at other places. So one example of this is that you will know your program leader. You will be able to go and ask them specific questions if there's modules that you're struggling with or you don't really understand some of the particular content or you're struggling to apply it to your assignments. You will know the name of your program leader. They will know your name and you can go and have that conversation with them. So it's a really nice transition into university education um, to really make sure that you get the support that you need. We also have, of course, our academic skills support hub who can help you if you want um, extra support in terms of um, English for academic studies or in terms of referencing um, all of that non-course specific but academic support. We've got hubs there to be able to help you. Of course, on the more pastoral side, um, if you're having problems with your finances or funding, um, there's teams in place to help with them. For well-being and mental health, of course, is really important. We've got teams there who are um, dedicated to that area. Um, we can offer individualized um, visa advice. Um, and then, of course, all of the um, clubs and societies um, for you to be able to um, make a real network of friends from Scotland and from around the world on your course. On to the hot topic of careers and employability. How is, how is studying at UHI going to help you get your dream job and your dream career when you leave? So we have a dedicated careers and employability service, um, which I know a lot of universities will tell you that they have. What does that mean? You will be able to speak to our career service um, to have a general conversation about your career. They will help you with personalizing your CV. They will help you with application form support, with interview preparation and with job searching. So a lot more kind of hands on support than other universities offer. A lot more personalized and a one to one conversation rather than, um, you know, signing up to employability um, events or um, seminars or whatever it's a much more one-on-one -on -one approach as is our employer mentoring program so you will, could be linked to an employer who will mentor you throughout your um, time studying studying at UHI um, and help you to figure out how you apply that into the type of job that you want to go into whether it's working with that employer or a different employer within the sector. And we have built our curriculum around making sure that our graduates are fully equipped with transferable skills that employers are looking for. So you won't just study theory. You will gain the skills that you need to go out um, and go straight into the world of work in the area you're interested in. Um, and one of the great things um, about being a graduate from UHI is that you are what we call a graduate for life. So you can 
come and speak to our careers support team in person or online for the rest of your lives. Um, they will always be on hand to be able to give you careers support and advice however long ago you graduated. So that's really kind of comforting to know. Um, and just to um, be totally clear, coming and studying in Scotland, um, we're still part of the UK post-study work visa route. So if you wanted to stay and work um, in the UK after you finish your studies, that option is, of course, available to you. Just a little bit about accommodation, because obviously it's important that you live somewhere that you um, that you are happy so that you're best prepared for your studies. So most of our campuses do offer dedicated student accommodation, which is designed around your needs um, and have one set rental fee that includes all of the things that you'd expect around Wi-Fi and storage and 24 seven on call support and help. So somebody will always be there um, if you were to need anything in your accommodation. So something that makes students um, and often parents of students feel really reassured. For those campuses that we don't have dedicated student accommodation or students prefer to be in private rented accommodation, we have a team available to assist you with finding a suitable place to live. Um, and obviously the type of accommodations and cost will vary depending on your location of study. But as I said previously, um, the Highlands and Islands is a more cost effective um, place of studying. And that's also reflected in our accommodation rates as well. Just quickly to look at um, our entry requirements. So undergraduate, um, we're looking at um, Qualifications equivalent to um, the IB at 24 or 2A levels. Um, if you have um, kind of school leaving qualifications from your home country, um, that you're not quite sure um, how they match how they match up with those levels. Feel free to get in touch with us, and um, our email address is definitely on on the last slide. So feel free to get in touch with us if you're not sure. But that's the um, the usual um, level. And of course, we need you to have IELTS with 6.0 and no element below 5.5 or equivalent test. Um, at postgraduate level, um, we would usually look for a 2-2 honours degree in a relevant subject. And again, we would need you to have that IELTS score 6.5 with no element below 6. Uh, just looking at um, tuition fees. So undergraduate level, um, they're around £13,980 or £15,360, depending on um, which subject you study. So lower than a lot of um, tuition um, fees for other um, UK universities. Um, and with our master's degrees, if you were to study them on campus, we're looking at 14,400 for the year. Um, again, lower than other um, UK competitors. And if you were to study online from your home country, it's only 9,720 per year. And then on to everybody's favourite uh, slide, scholarships. Um, so these are just the ones that we've got um, open at the moment for 23-24. So for anybody coming in September, we do have an automatic um, EU scholarship um, for students who are in a, an EU country now paying international fees. We've got these scholarships in place um, to reduce that for September 2023. So up to £4,000 at undergraduate level and 25% off at postgraduate level. We also have um, a South Asia scholarship of 10% off your tuition fees and a range of um, subject specific scholarships so our full range of scholarships can be found on our website on the funding pages so do go um, and have a look at all of the various scholarships that we offer and just to finish on um, how to apply to UHI so if you want to study an undergraduate degree then you will apply um, via UCAS and if you would like to study a postgraduate degree, you'd apply directly on our website. Um, and once you've met all the academic requirements, we'll be able to make you an unconditional offer. You will need to pay your first year's fee in, in full before we will be able to issue you with your CAS that you need for your visa. Um, and of course, um, once you've submitted that application, all of the pre-arrival support and advice will be provided. 
So that's the end um, for me. Um, so just to summarize, um, the reason that you should choose UHI is for the chance to do something special to be inspired by our beautiful and unique landscape, our stunning study locations and our innovative teaching methods. And we will help you to achieve your ambitions and give you the support and platform that you need to be able to do that. So on that point, I'm going to stop talking and stop sharing my screen um, and open up for any um, questions or anything anybody would like to raise. Okay, thank you so much, Tess. So um, everyone just please note of the email that you, if you have any questions where you can reach UHI and um, the website as well, if you want to check out any further more if information, if you're interested in seeing the different types of scholarships offered, if you want to find, any, find out any extra information, you can do that there. Um, so I have a, a, a couple questions. So is there any, um, on-campus accommodation available for students? Yes, yeah. Um, so we are a multi-campus university um, and most of our um, campuses do have dedicated student accommodation. Um, so when you apply for your course, we'll let you know which campuses um, you would be able to study on um, and which ones have which type of accommodation. And then you can make the choice as to um, which you feel is, is the best fit for you, depending if you want to be in a city, if you want to be in a smaller town, if you want to be somewhere rural, how beautiful you want the landscape to be, we can match you up um, with the ideal campus um, and the accommodation will be a part of that. Like I said, if it's if it's a campus that doesn't have our own accommodation, we will help you with finding um, suitable private accommodation nearby so that support is available. Okay, great. And um, when it comes to um, internships, uh, are students able to find internships or do that as part of a program or get some uh, a small amount of work experience? Sure. So again, that's something that our careers um, and employability team will help with. So we don't currently have kind of a year in industry um, option to add extra time to your course it would be a case of fitting in those internships and shorter term work experience within the time that you're studying with us so yeah that would be um part of the work that our um careers and employability team will support you with great and then the last question are there any age limits um with applying to the courses no absolutely not um so we will take students um of any age as long as they're old enough to come and, and study um, at undergraduate or postgraduate level and you've got the relevant qualifications you can be as young or as old as you like um, if you um, are a mature student who finished your academic studies um, quite some time ago that is absolutely fine because I'm sure that you've got relevant work experience um, between when you finish studying and now. So please do um, highlight that as part of your application and that will be considered as along with your um, academic merit. Um, we want to know about you as a person and all of the experience that you have, not just the grades on the paper. So please do um, let us um, know about that. And yet yeah, there's, there's no upper age limit to, to come and study.